Hey guys and welcome back. Be sure to check out all of our pick content including our daily free play over at our main website stumpthespread.com linked down in the video description and click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel to continue to get all of our pick video plays. Heading into Thursday night's action here on September 28th going to be talking about this contest here between the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. Looking forward to watching this one, this traditional NFC North matchup here. Green Bay currently finds themselves at about a touchdown to uh, seven and a half point favorites with the over under sitting at about 45 and a half points. We're going to be focusing on the spread and who we think is going to be the better value bet in terms of uh, who's getting the points here and giving the points. The road team today, the Chicago Bears, standing one and two on the year. Not a team that we felt like was going to do a whole lot coming into the season. The Bears have been a little bit more competitive than we were expecting and those competitive games have been on their home field as opposed to their one road game. Uh, the Bears went on to lose to the Falcons by six points at home and then beating a quality Steelers team at home in their last outing by six points. Their one road test, the Bears really flopped at Tampa Bay, losing to the Buccaneers by a final of 7-29. Uh, to 29. It'll be interesting to see if the Bears continue to have road struggles, especially against this division rival here, and if their strong play is just relegated to their home matchups behind that home field advantage, or if this group can prove themselves on the road in that uh, result last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers, that overtime win for the Bears, 23-17. Uh, to 17. In that outing, uh, quarterback Glennon went on to complete 15 of 22 passes for just 101 yards and one TD to one interception. So the Bears, they're a team right now that clearly doesn't want to rely on their pass game unless they absolutely have to with a guy like Glennon under center. They're a team that's going to be running the ball every opportunity they can to try to uh, reduce the amount of time on the clock number of possessions, um, really grind that thing down to uh, try to make it a lower scoring matchup, give themselves a chance at maybe uh, picking up the win and maybe getting, you know, some points through defense, uh, potentially forcing turnovers uh, and getting uh, points that way or special teams and just doing everything they possibly can to put themselves in an opportunity uh, to potentially go on to get some wins this year. Uh, the ground game against Pittsburgh was successful, picking up 220 yards and two touchdowns on 38 carries. Uh, 16 more carries there for the Bears last week than pass attempts. A uh, trend that we'll likely continue to see with the Bears here coming into this one against the Packers. And for people that are going to go ahead and make a play on the over-under, given the fact that uh, every single one of Chicago's games this year, if you add up the points, would be less than the over-under that's currently set for this game. And given the fact that they're a team that likes to run the ball, limit the number of possessions, run that clock down, certainly the under could potentially be uh, a pretty solid value bet in this one. But siding over here with the Green Bay Packers, the home team, they're 2-1 and one on the year, facing a pretty tough schedule thus far. Uh, there are two wins coming at home last week. The Packers did not come through against the spread for us against a Bengals team that had really been struggling immensely, especially offensively. The Packers' defense wasn't tremendous, but they did do just enough to help the team go on to pick up the win by a final of 27-24. to Good bounce-back result there for the Packers. After the week prior, they had really been embarrassed in their loss on the road against the Falcons. Uh, but the Packers also have a Week 1 win at home against the Seahawks, which is a really nice uh, win for their resume as well. And in that outing last week against the Bengals, where the Packers uh, really didn't look as strong as a lot of people were expecting coming into that one. I mean, they were down 7-21 to 21 at halftime, rallying at the end, and then getting the win in overtime. Aaron Rodgers went on to complete 28 of 42 passes for 313 yards and three touchdowns to one interception. But the ground game, having their issues, picking up just 64 yards on 17 carries. So what's really interesting about this matchup, not just the fact that it's a rivalry game uh, between these divisional foes, it's the fact that Green Bay, they really excel in the pass game, while the Bears are a little more traditional, old school mentality, uh, exceeding more in the ground game. It's that old matchup here, strong pass game against strong run game, and who's going to come out on top. Uh, traditionally, you know, that ground game was a lot more effective a number of years ago before they really clamped down on what uh, defensive backs have been able to do to receivers in terms of defending the pass. That usually favors these pass teams. Uh, you know, whenever you get those penalties on DBs in the secondary for pass interference, that can just have huge uh, positive effects for the offensive team. Uh, it's a spot foul. It can really rack up that yardage and help these uh, pass-heavy teams, especially since it's such a difficult task to defend the pass nowadays in the NFL. They're trying to speed things up, make things more exciting, get more points on the board. 
Um, as a result, we are going to go ahead and side with Green Bay coming into the year. We really liked the Packers to compete for this division title while the Bears were a little bit more hesitant on. The Packers also getting the home field advantage today, and even though Green Bay burned us, uh, this past week, not being able to cover the spread at home. If you are able to get this one at one touchdown, we still feel pretty uh, positive in Green Bay's ability to go ahead and separate in this one on their home field as they go on to win and cover that one touchdown spread. If it's at a touchdown and a half, I'd probably wait on it a little more. Uh, but at that seven points, I do feel like the Packers are going to be the better value bet in this matchup on their home field. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in for today's video. Again, to get all of our NFL pick content, you can check that out at stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel to continue to get all of our pick video plays. So thanks for stopping on in, guys, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.